Good morning everybody, this is Anna from Koala Soap. I wasn't able to upload a video for a few days because I, I cut the heck out of my finger. I can't remember how I did it. Oh, I was trying to fix the dishwasher. That's what it was. Anyway, so I had to take a few days off just to make sure that um, I didn't uh, irritate it or anything like that. So we're back, we're ready to go. Today we're gonna be making a soap using this basic mold, which I'm sure um, you've seen before it's really pretty it's like little flowers in a strip um, and you know when I poured it you know it just kind of they look beautiful until you know you try to make something out of it and it's just kind of a, a bland thing but I think I figured out how to make it work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using our basic pink soap mold the, this fondant mold I'm going to be using stardust micas I believe this one is violet petal and a yellow lemon I'm also going to be using shea butter, some alcohol. We're going to go ahead and get these warmed up and we will start setting our mold. Okay, so these are both at about 170 right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the gloves on and then we're going to go ahead and get our micas ready. The first part of this is going to, we, we're going to need to um, pour a little hot. So make sure you have your gloves on or something to protect. Um, we will be doing the yellow first. I'm going to go ahead and squirt my alcohol. The scent we're going to be using today is lavender, and that'll be a fragrance oil. And the first one we're going to use is our yellow, and that's actually the one we're going to be um, pouring first. So we'll go ahead and just get that going right now. Okay, so there's our yellow. I always worry about using a light color in um, a white base because I sometimes don't think it'll show up very well, but I think this will. Okay, as you can see, we have our yellow mixed in. I'm going to move this off to the side. Now this is what we're gonna be doing next. I am going to be pouring, this gets a little messy. I'm gonna pour my yellow into here and I wanna pour it hot. I mean, I, I really do want it hot because I I want it to, uh, I don't want it to clump in this mold at all and I wanna give myself a little bit of time to work. And as you can see, I'm kinda of moving it all the way around so I can get all the nooks and crannies and then I'm gonna let it drip right back in. And don't worry if it makes a little bit of a mess. You can always remelt it, as you know. Okay, so when your drips have stopped, and you, you if you're getting still a steady drip, um, I would continue to keep it at this angle. Okay, so as you can see, I have the yellow. I'm actually gonna set that aside, just for right now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my purple ready. I already have the alcohol in the bath bomb holder. We're gonna try a couple things today. In case I didn't tell you already, I'm gonna do a swirl and this mold. So that's, we'll see if it works. That's what this whole channel is about, is experimentation to see if we can do certain things with our melt and pour. Okay, and we'll take our alcohol and we'll spritz it. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in here and a little bit in here for a little later. Okay. Now, if you want this purple to be a little bit darker, feel free to add a little bit more mica. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see where it's at right now. 
Oh, 140. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil and we'll be right back. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we have um, a little bit more alcohol into our bath bombs. We're waiting for these to cool down. So I think we're okay. So I'm going to bring this mold back now. And I have my spatula with the removable handle ready to go. And I'm going to pour, after I put alcohol on it, I'm going to pour slowly. It's in the 130, so it shouldn't melt. However, it could. Okay, so we don't need to squeegee that off. That's great. I don't want to move this right now because I just don't want to upset the mold. We know that each of these cavities is about uh, 3.5 to 3.6 ounces from before. So that's why I went ahead and melted about a little over seven ounces, closer to eight ounces, just to make sure we would have enough soap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit more and then we're gonna start pouring. Okay, so both of our um, micas are in the 120s. We have our fragrance added. This is not quite set yet. We're gonna, I think what I'm gonna do, my plan, I was gonna do two colors, but I'm gonna just do one. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the purple mica here. I'm going to mix it. I might actually have to put some more alcohol in there. I'm not sure yet. I will need to put more in there, okay. If it's really thick, you're gonna to need to put some more alcohol in there. What I wanna to try to do is get it like a little dark swirl going on in there. That's my plan anyway. Okay, so the, what we're gonna do, this is a little bit more easy to work with. I'm going to take a little dropper. Do I just put a little bit more alcohol in there? That's fine. And what we're gonna do this off to the side here and let's just make sure we're at what it says so 117 122 let's do the yellow first and what we're going to do is we're going to pour directly on those drops Pour just a little bit of purple in there too. And you can see, maybe you can see there's a ton of skin coming down on it right now. Okay. First one is done. Squirt it with a little bit of alcohol. And now we're going to do the second one. And this one I'm going to do the purple first. Why not? And let's just go ahead and pour it. We're going to pour it right on those drops. Now purple on the purple, I don't know. It may not look, it may not pull out very well at all as far as color goes, but we'll see. And then we will pour the yellow. I'm just kind of doing zigzaggy motions. I have a little bit left here. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. We've used just about all of it. We're going to go ahead and squirt this with alcohol. And we're gonna let them set. I don't know if I have just a little bit more. I could use a little bit. I don't have much. Okay. 
and we poured them really cold too. So let's hope, as you can see the skin dangling down there, um, I'm hoping that we will keep the color distinction going. Okay, let's just wait for all this to cool down and then we'll work with our mold. Okay, our mold is done. I just lifted the tip of it just to make sure that it would be okay. These are still wet, so we're gonna go ahead and unmold this as carefully as possible. Okay. You wanna be very, very careful because you have two colors in here and if there wasn't enough alcohol or something like that, then it may separate on you, but they look good. Okay, so how is that? Isn't that nice? So what we're gonna do is um, one strip is good for two of these. So we're gonna wait for these to set and then what we're gonna do is I didn't clean these yet because I'm gonna melt it and I'm gonna use it as the glue for um, this right here. So let's wait for these to finish um, molding and then we'll be back. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, our soap is done, so we'll do the unmolding and see how it looks. So what we did was the tie-dye. Look at that. That looks nice. Let's see how the other one looks. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So now what the idea here is I'm going to take this, I'm going to be melting it down. I'm going to cut this in half. So we'll find about our halfway point, which is right here. Don't want to lose that. And we will cut it there. And then we're going to use our melt and pour, cut that down. And then we're going to glue this onto our soaps. I would like to point out that I just got an email from a subscriber by the name of Jeanette. I just read this while I was waiting for this to settle. And she sent me a really beautiful picture of her soap. I'm not going to share a close up of it. She did a tie dye also, which made me think about it. Um, but she asked, she, she said something like, um, I hope I'm not infringing, let's see, on a copyright, a trademark technique. I don't have any trademark or copyright technique. You guys are free to do anything and everything I show you. As, as a matter of fact, to me, that's a compliment. It means that the soap wasn't terrible. Um, I'm, I am a, uh, to help, a DIY type of channel to help people learn how to make soap. I'm also a nurse, and um, I got started in this to... Um, get my kids washing their hands more because of the flu season. We've seen some hellacious flu seasons in the last few years. So no, please feel free to send me your designs and do whatever you want with the designs. Tweak them, don't tweak them, do whatever you want. You're more than welcome to do that. So let's go ahead and melt these up and thank you Jeanette for the wonderful pictures and I'll be right back. Okay, so they're melted down. You don't want to put them in for too long because the mic, it, there's just not a lot of soap there and you don't want to burn your cups. At this point, I would, I would say you should probably use a skewer and we're going to use the hatch marks. This will help the soap adhere. You don't have to go crazy. You know, just put some hatch marks there. Squirt with alcohol. I am using 91, but if you can use 99, I'm sure that would be a lot better. I think it would adhere a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour my soap. So we wanna make sure it's not too warm. 144, it's okay, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna set pretty fast. I'm gonna just pour it very lightly and on the middle. Okay, I'm not sure you can see that. Okay, and I already have the alcohol there and I'm gonna squish it down. Okay, and there's the first one. 
Let's see, this one, oh, wait, I have a better. I don't have a lot because I measured. For once, I'm really starting to get my measurements down very well so I don't waste any soap. Okay. Give this one just another squirt. And we're going to put it down. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to let these set. Okay, they're set. So let's take a close up of the soaps. Let's get my gloves on. And there's the first one. Isn't that pretty? I think that's a real cute, cute, cute soap. And here's the second one. Now, I can't remember, I believe we poured, on this one we poured the yellow first, on this one we poured the purple first. So you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. But I think the soaps look beautiful, they smell wonderful. And I really hope you enjoyed this technique. I wanted to show you, so the color that you pour first into this mold is the color that will show on the outside. I did it here, a test uh, tester, with uh, the pop and pink neon and white. And as you can see, I poured the white first. So whichever color you're gonna pour first, in this case it was the yellow, this case it was the white, you can see what happens. It's gonna um, push those colors out towards the end. And that's how we got this effect. And it looks like, I feel that it's gonna happen with any color you use. So I hope this technique was helpful and it's good to be back. And you guys have a really, really wonderful week. Thank you.